uh, welcome back to the channel so today i'm on my one of my online servers and i have a plugin that i have built for a client and i want to be able to send them uh, updates where they just click uh, the simple update now button and everything will work well uh, depending on the versions of course i'm using a semper that's semantic versioning so let's say if i do a minor update to um one of the things that i'm doing for them one of uh uh, let's say the content types and I'm adding a little feature um, They should be able to just click update now and use that without me having to go in and log in into their system And then doing the whole update I was searching online and I found uh, this update manager that's written by code potent. He's a brilliant guy uh, You need to check that out what he's doing and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just go to the releases that he has and I'm going to get the latest so I'll just uh, download this and while that's downloading that will be very helpful so what I'll do is uh, I'm going to just go to the link here so that I can just follow step by step of uh, how I can actually use this so I'm as green as you are but let's see where this leads um, let's see if we can actually do it we actually have to add this class inside our file so that's what I'm going to look at I'm going to go into that uh, plugin please never edit your sites live uh, it's not really encouraged okay so classes I already added it so I have to add it in my plugin in a file called classes and then uh, and the PHP file is what I need to edit and I'm just going to make a few changes here on Chigai. I'll use my own server, Media Uganda, which is going to be my other server. This is a plugin, and then I'll click update. And successful, we don't have any issues whatsoever. Uh, of course, I was warned before that I'm supposed to have classic press version here. My plugin is currently on version 1.0. So let me set that up. On my site okay so I'm inside my what's going to be my server side which is uh, my host I'm going to add the new plugin for the update manager itself uh, that we downloaded here install it and have our plugin it's active we need to activate the plugin next and we see that it brings a, a small update manager uh, in our admin section we have a new update manager it talks about the plugins themes and transients uh, it talks about deactivating managing endpoints so let's just see what that is all about um, endpoints I don't have any new plugins whatsoever here we're gonna have a new plugin so I'm going to call this a uh, decoper Joe loans so that I can manage it it's inside a folder copajo slash loans yeah that's the file name so what I'm going to do is add a version one requires version zero so that people don't just jump if I have breaking changes I can be able to restrict that so I'm going to add a download link so let me go to my github account I'll look for the copajo loans so my decoupage loans right now has no releases it has only one release which is a 1.0 but i'm going to draft a new release what happens is whenever you zip a file on a github it automatically adds the name of um, the particular branch that you're on so what i want is i just want to have loans only just the loans i just don't want to have the name master on it i am going to actually just zip this so archive it zip so at the end of the day when i'm uploading my release i'm just going to drop this file in here so that it has that that unique url on it um in any other case i would still do a simple 
add the proper release link that comes on but I want to do everything uh, uniquely so that in the future when I am uploading I need to keep my file names similar uh, so you see if you look down here you're going to see the links are different if I look at this it has 1.0.1 so it will effectively be downloading another plugin altogether not the same so I need to use this link right here so what I'll do that is I'll copy the link location come back and then just paste this here in my zip then I'll say version 1.01 is better that's not what I want to do but that will make sense so what I want to do is I want to only test on particular domains. I, I probably want to test this update before I send it out to any other domains anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a testing domain and then uh, I'll leave it like that and then I'll just say leave me a message in case uh, there are any issues. So I'm going to publish this and once it's published so uh, Let's just look at this again. They have told us you need classic press PHP 5.6 and earlier. Set up a plugin to work. This install on your own site, add file in your own plugin, create an endpoint, test the endpoint in the browser, test the update on an actual site, publish the endpoint. Okay. So what we are going to do is we're going to view the endpoint. The endpoint is actually okay. It's there. Uh, let me just reload here. Yes, and now we have an update. So this actually works. So if I click update now, that should be able to download the new version. And then you can push an alpha, you can push a beta, release candidate, and all of that. It's possible. You can add your own custom images to make it look good. And I can see a number of people have actually uh, used this in different places. So that's how we serve our plugins. If you wanted to add themes, you can do that as well, and everything would work out well. So give this a try. Uh, let God Potten know how you've, uh, whether you've been able to utilize this in the best way, and enjoy. Thank you for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if uh, you've not yet and enjoy yourself, uh, keep yourself safe.